Namaste everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to this class. I know it's been so long since I've uploaded a class and first of all I want to apologize for that for not being consistent and not uploading any content because I was so busy with so many things. So I moved to another country and I am in Nepal right now living in a beautiful monastery. So I took some time for myself to settle down and now I'm feeling really energetic and grounded. So from now I will stay consistent and I will keep uploading and sharing with you all. So thank you for sticking around with me. So that's all I wanted to share with you before we get into the class. And without wasting any more time, let's get into today's class. So today we will practice a detox quick yoga flow, which is a great way to start your day with. This flow will be a combination of some standing asana, some seated postures, uh, some twisted poses especially. We will focus more on the twist in this class and then we will finish with a nice slow supine flow. So let's get into today's class. So we'll start in a, in a seated position. So sit on the heels in a, in a kneeling position or even simple cross leg. Sit with the spine straight, roll the shoulders down and back. Relax the hands on your knees. So keep the spine straight, neck and chin in line with the spine. Close your eyes. Now take a moment to arrive in this moment. Feel the grounding, feel the support beneath you and allow yourself to really become present in this moment. So disconnect yourself from the outside world and just be here now completely present. Let's take three deep breaths together. Deep inhale through the nose. As you breathe in, expand your belly, expand your chest. Maybe lift the shoulders slightly up at the end of your inhalation. So fully breathe in. And then slow and control release through the nose as you release all the air out. Inhale, slow and control. Smooth, big breath in. Expanding your belly, expanding your chest. And release through the nose. One more. Inhale, slow and smooth. Big breath in. Feel the expansion. And slow and control release. So release all the air out. Now bring the chin to the chest. Feel the stretch on the back of the neck. Keep the spine straight. Slowly open the eyes and look up. And now let's begin the practice. As you inhale, raise your arms up. As you exhale, twist to the left as you open your body to the left side and reaching your both hands in both directions. Inhale, come up. Exhale, twist to the right, opening the body, opening the chest to the right side. Inhale, up. Exhale with the breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale, exhale. Now inhale, center. Exhale, release the hands back. Interlace the fingers behind your back. As you inhale, stretch your arms back, open the chest, look up. As you exhale, drop the forehead down on the mat. As you lift the knuckles up and over the head. Stretching the shoulders, actively reaching up and over with the hands. One more breath, keeping the hips back. Inhale. Exhale through the nose. And now as you inhale, come all the way up. Stretch the arms back. As you exhale, release the hands down. Move the shoulders up and back. And then come on the knees. So in the four-point tabletop position, where you open the knees, hip with the part, toes back, palms under the shoulders. So we'll do five cat and cow. So as you inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, round the back, chin to the chest. So push the floor away. Inhale, exhale, round the back. 
Three more. Inhale. Move with the breath. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale. Exhale. As you inhale, come back to neutral spine. From here, place the right hand behind the head. As you inhale, open the chest to the right side. As you exhale, bring the right elbow inside your left hand as you're pointing the elbow to the left side. Inhale, open to the right. Exhale as you're twisting. Inhale, up and open. Exhale. Two more. Inhale, open. Exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale, open. Exhale. And now as you inhale, open. Extend your right hand up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, place the right hand on the left side of the mat. So extending the right hand. See if you can extend the left hand forward. Keeping the right cheek down on the mat. Keep the hips back in line with the knees. And reaching the both hands in both sides. Breathe. Exhale through the nose. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Release through the nose. And now bring the left hand back. Press into the left palm as you inhale. Open to the right and come back. So both hands down and now we repeat on the other side. So place the left hand behind the head. As you inhale, open to the left. Exhale. So repeating the same on the other side. Inhale, open. Exhale. Left elbow pointing the right side. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale, open. Exhale. Now inhale, open, raise the left hand up, reaching up to the ceiling. As you exhale, place the left hand on the right side of the mat, so back of the palm on the mat. Then extend the right hand forward, placing the left cheek down. Breathe. Keep extending both hands in both sides. Find a nice length on the entire right side of the body. Keep the hips back and just breathe. One more breath, inhale, and long exhale. And now slowly bring the right hand back, press into the right hand. As you inhale, open the left hand to the left. Exhale, release both hands down. You come back in the tabletop. From here, tuck the toes under and lift the hips higher. Downward facing dog. So this is the first downward facing dog of today's class. Start paddling out the knees. Drop the heels back, lengthen the spine, relax the head, externally rotate the shoulders and push the floor away. So don't shift the weight forward, always keep the hips lifted. Just walk the knees to release the hamstrings. And now both heels down with next inhale, step or jump forward. At the top feet together, inhale, lift halfway, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Arms over your head, exhale, hands at your heart. Now from here again, inhale, raise your arms up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway, exhale, hands down, step back, foot plank. Moving into modified or full chaturanga, bend your elbows, exhale. Inhale, lift the chest, either upper dog or cobra, open the chest. Exhale, let tuck the toes, lift the hips, back up, downward dog. Come back to the breath. As you inhale again, step or jump, halfway. Exhale, fold. From here, bend the knees, inhale, chair pose. As you raise your arms up, exhale, come all the way up in a standing position. From here, as you inhale, again bend the knees and raise your arms up, chair pose. See if you can keep the knees together, big toes in line with the knees, and then bring the hands at your heart in Namaste. Keep a nice length in the spine. So inhale, center, and as you exhale, twist to the right side. Use your upper body to deepen the twist. Inhale, come back. Exhale, twist to the left side. Make sure your knee stays in one line. Inhale, center, exhale to the right. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. 
let's do one more inhale exhale to the right inhale exhale to the left and now inhale center exhale to the right and this time you hook your left elbow outside the right knee and then press the elbow outside the knee to deepen the twist as you open the chest to the right side and now look down see if you can shift the weight on your right foot as you lift the left foot off the floor keeping the balance holding the twist slowly step your left leg back for high lunge so toes down keeping the twist see if you can slowly lift up so unhooking the elbow but still staying in the twist and open the arms on both sides so we are now in a twisted crescent and from here we are moving into reverse twisted crescent so right hand down left hand up inhale and as you exhale come back to the twisted crescent now inhale come back to high lunge keeping the right knee in line with the ankle as you exhale open for warrior two now this time extending the both hands in both sides breathe in the center come back to the breath exhale now as you inhale reverse warrior left hand down right hand up opening the right side right shoulder up exhale now inhale slowly come back exhale pashwakonasana place the right elbow on your right knee left hand up over the head keeping the left shoulder up actively reaching up with the left fingertips and now inhale come back warrior 2 exhale both hands down on the mat as you step back foot plank exhale chaturanga inhale lift the chest exhale lift the hips downward dog move the knees again if you need to come back to the breath push the floor away now inhale again step or jump lift half way exhale fold bend the knees inhale chair pose exhale come all the way up and now we repeat the same on the other side so starting from twisted chair bend the knees inhale arms up exhale hands at your heart inhale center exhale twist this time placing the right elbow outside the left knee so inhale center exhale deepen the twist see if you can keep the knees in one line so your right knee is not going forward and try to bring the namaste at the center as you twist deeply and now see if you can find the balance on your left foot as you lift the right foot off the floor keeping the balance slow and control and slowly step back so right toes down find your balance so your left knee is in line with the ankle as you keeping the twist and slowly lift up staying in the twist opening the arms twisted crescent from here left hand down right hand up as you inhale exhale come back now inhale both arms up high lunge exhale open for warrior 2 opening the hip look at your left hand reaching your both hands in both sides in both direction inhale reverse warrior right hand down left hand up exhale inhale come back to warrior 2 exhale parshvakonasan left elbow on the knee right hand up over the head Now inhale as you come back warrior 2 exhale both hands down and step back for plank from here lift the hips up downward dog from here lift right leg up exhale step the right leg forward between the hands left knee down left toes back now inhale raise your arms up exhale twist open to the right see if you can bring the hands at your heart in namaste staying in the twist and then hook the left elbow again outside the right knee then inhale center and exhale twist to the right breathe now inhale look forward slowly untwist left hand down keeping the right hand up to the ceiling tuck the left toes see if you can lift the left heel up open to the ceiling 
breathe look up if you can exhale right hand down and slowly step back for plank from here lift the hips back up down with dog and now we change the side inhale left leg up exhale left leg forward right knee down right toes back knee over ankle inhale arms up exhale twist open to the left now staying in the twist see if you can bring the hands forward and then hook the right elbow outside the left knee inhale center exhale twist look over the left shoulder now inhale slowly and twist right hand down left hand stays up tuck the right toes as you lift the right knee up maybe look up look down or look at the left side as you reach up with the left hand one more breath and exhale left hand down and slowly step back back to downward dog from here knees down heels together sit on the heels come back up or you can rest in child's pose here close your eyes and just feel the energy moving if this was not enough for you then maybe you can try and repeat uh, the same sequence two more times on both sides or if this is already enough then just come back here and then come back to the natural breath slowly allow yourself to tune into your natural breathing so you can just close your eyes and observe the natural breath and then gently open the eyes from here all the way down so moving on to the supine position where you keep the back grounded feet close to the hips open the feet hip width apart palms by your side press into the palms press into the feet as you inhale lift the hips up moving the chest up and forward keep the knees in so not opening the knees out or interlace the fingers press into the hands as you lift the hips more higher chest more forward breathe and slowly release the hands slowly vertebra by vertebra lower the hips all the way down and then hug the knees into the chest and then start gently rotating the knees so widening your sacrum your lower back also gently moving the knees making small circles with the knees and now change the direction and just feel and enjoy a nice massage in your lower back and then slowly come back to center and squeeze the knees into the chest maybe just hold here or bring the forehead close to the knees so really squeezing everything in and become really tiny really tiny and then release the head back feet grounded and then bring your both knees to the right side of the mat and extending the left hand on the left side of the mat as you allow yourself to melt into this gentle supine twist and coming back to the natural breath so let go of any control and really surrender yourself into the pose and then slowly come back and bring your knees to the left and hand right hand to the right side allow yourself to breathe naturally and just observe observe the nice opening on the right side as you slowly tuning in to your natural breath so calm your breath just feel and observe the energy moving and then slowly bring the knees back in the center and hug the knees one more time get one more squeeze nice squeeze hug everything in become really tiny before leaving your body completely in shavasan so squeeze everything in and become really tiny see if you can bring the head more in and then slowly allow your head to rest back 
allow your legs to extend forward as you release your body completely in Shavasana. Open your hands by your side, palms facing up, toes rolled out to the side. Close your eyes, relax your head and release your entire body in Shavasana. Just become aware of the natural breath and let go of all the control that you think you have on your body and completely surrender yourself. Melt into the pose, melt onto the mat. Hold for next 5 to 10 minutes or even longer if you feel. And just breathe. Thank you for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed the class and I hope you liked the class. If you did, please like the video, share with your friends and family and consider subscribing to the channel for more upcoming yoga videos. Thank you again. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.